This is your three minute radiation fallout forecast for Wednesday, February 22nd, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows current rain and snow over most of the southern provinces. The areas of highest concern in regards to the jet stream positioning would be the cities between Vancouver to Calgary and Toronto through Halifax, including the southernmost region of Ontario from Barrie to Windsor. In the U.S., Current radar from IntelliCast as well as CRWS jet stream forecast indicates the areas of highest fallout potential to be in the following states or areas. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Northern Wyoming, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, and the coastal areas of the Florida Panhandle. This area extends into the Northeast tonight and includes Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine. In Europe, radar imagery and jet stream and water vapor analysis from Meteo France places the following countries at risk for potential fallout in the next 48 hours. Northern Poland, Ireland, the UK, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Belarus, and Southern Italy and Romania. Fortunately, most of this precipitation will be in the form of rain. However, it is important to understand that after radiation is rained out of the air, it goes into the local water supply. The most important times to filter water is after heavy rainfall. Nuke report. There are three events. Number one, the Columbia Generating Station in Washington State had a data processing network failure on 221. It was a partial but major loss of emergency assessment capability that lasted 78 minutes. The failure is under investigation. The second event was located at the North Anna facility in Virginia, where tritium was identified in the reporting threshold on on-site groundwater samples. The NRC report states that there is no increase to the projected annual dose to a member of the public. And number three, at the Prairie Island Nuclear Power Plant in Minnesota, a critical but non-emergent reactor alarm trip due to high decay heat detected during a shutdown and refueling of Reactor 2. The unit is currently in standby. More information will be shared as it becomes available. A recent interview with Andrew Velasquez, director of FEMA Region 5 in regards to the New Madrid, boldly states, we need to be prepared for any emergency. This advice holds true as for a current or potential radiation threat as well. Have a plan. Visit FukushimaFacts.com for more information, mitigation, and educational videos. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.